G'day everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, doing a little DVD Blu-ray VHS update as usual, and a uh, little pickup I made yesterday, I don't particularly need it, but you know, for 50 cents I wasn't going to leave it there, uh, this is the Australian VHS of American Ninja, which is rather awesome, I think it's the uh, retail release, as it's got the uh, price sticker on the front, and uh, that's the original sticker, twenty nine ninety five. This would have cost, and it was put out. Uh, and put out. It was um, available in Grace Brothers, who uh, don't exist anymore for the Australians out here. That all became Maya. We all know that. So uh, yeah, that's that's American Ninja. Just testing the quality of the tape. It's good. But they didn't just have one though. They had number two. So there we go. It's American Ninja Two: The Confrontation. Again, twenty nine ninety five from Grace Brothers. Good old Michael Dudikoff. So that's awesome. Other stuff that I've picked up, they had uh, the original rental of Willow, oh, yeah, 50 cents, put on uh, RCA Columbia. Nice condition there. Don't need that, considering I've got the Blu ray, but you know, whatever. I may uh, trade or sell these on. And I don't really know what this is. Uh, Welcome Home, some kind of drama, but it had uh, Chris Christopherson in it, who's uh, always rather cool. Looks a bit serious and sad and not up my alley, but whatever. Uh, those four tapes were two dollars for the lot, so good with that. More tapes. This this was uh, hilarious. Uh, Avalon Land of Magic, sometimes just called Avalon. It's on IMDb. It doesn't even have five votes yet. It's fairly unknown. This thing. Uh, the director is it written there. Michael J. Murphy. Wow, this was abysmal. Just abysmal, but I laughed all, all the way through it. Um, just think of a sword and sorcery kind of film that you would make in your backyard. And uh, you've got this Avalon Land of Magic. The worst effects you've ever seen. The worst acting you've ever seen. But, um, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's strangely alluring. I watched all the way to the end, and I will watch this again one day. So that's Avalon Land of Magic. Uh, put on Columbia TriStar. Speaking of terrible, another for the Godfrey Ho collection, Ninja the Magnificent. Look at that shit. Beautiful. Love, love, love these uh, cut and paste films. This one I think might have been on CBL or... Who was the other one? Macro? City Lights. There you go. Uh, a Slasher. Yeah, this is Fatal Pulse. Um original roadshow but cut down unfortunately not that I've ever seen uh, it in any uh, better condition before it's the first time I ever saw that saw this available uh, on eBay this one fatal pulse um, so yeah 80 slasher with a very cool cover that I've not seen so I'll check that out should be good um, got this one in the trained trained to kill another Frank Sagarino film there he is down the corner there good fun um, yeah, I do look forward to checking this one out. His films are always worth a watch. Two Brothers, One Quest, Bloody Revenge. Awesome. Yeah, Amiga Cop. With Ron Marcini and Adam West. Oh yeah, Adam West. Um, I don't know if that's going to be Batman, but anyway. The year is 1999. I'm assuming that's the future. Look at that guy's face. Amiga Cop. Should be a laugh. And lastly... Warlords 3000, I'm pretty sure this is on the IMDB bottom 100, uh, post-apocalyptic crap, and it should be a bit of a laugh, futuristic thriller in the tradition of Mad Max, I love that, in the tradition of, but not quite as good is what they're trying to say. Okay, Blu-rays, so I got the uh, brand new 25th anniversary Blu-ray of Remote Control, uh, signed there by Jeff Lieberman, you can only buy it through his website. So that's jefflebermandirector.com. Make sure you go pick it up. There are only 1,000 of these. I scored number 8, which is rather cool. It's a brand new 2K HD transfer. This has never been on DVD, let alone Blu-ray. So, uh, yeah, this is remote control. I haven't checked the quality out yet, actually, but I'm assuming it's going to be really good. So, um, yeah, one of his films that's never been on digital format before. I do look forward to checking it out again and getting rid of my old VHS. American Mary... Uh, the uh, Monster Pictures release. It's been out for a couple of months now. Um, 
whilst I didn't do a recall, the uh, original print was um, it was in scope for the opening credits, and then it squished out to 178 to 1, so something went wrong. Um, and then they reissued it, and this is fully correct in 2.35 to 1. So if you've bought the earlier edition of this and it goes completely full widescreen after a few minutes, uh, drop them a line and they'll send you a replacement disc. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, the new film by the uh, the sisters uh, Jen and Sil Sylvia. It is Sylvia, isn't it? Jen and Sylvia Soska, um, who did a dead hooker in a trunk, which I've not seen yet. But anyway, this one is supposed to be very good. I look forward to checking out American Mary. It's got a reversible cover as well. The uh, the other cover is basically that picture. So cool, American Mary. Uh, in a trade, um, I got this from Andrew Balliner, Soylent Green. He didn't much care for the film, but it's a classic as far as I'm concerned. And uh, my old Snapper Case DVD badly needs replacing. So very cool, Soylent Green. Here's people. A little cheapy I picked up from the pawn shop. P A W N, not P O R N. That's Flash Gordon. Uh, and not Flesh Gordon, which is what I would have got from the P.O.R.N. shop. Oh, jeez, I'm just funny today. Uh, yep, classic Sam Jones uh, sci-fi comedy action thing that um, I haven't seen in a hell of a long time. So, Flash Gordon on Blu-ray. Um, sci-fi channel film, Do or Die. Not too bad, I did watch this. Um, yeah, well, what's the idea? Basically, everybody in the world is either infected by this disease, they need to... Um, take a, a shot of a cure every day or there's people that just don't get infected and we had class society battles and the evil um, pharmaceutical corporation keeping the real cure away and all that kind of stuff it wasn't too bad oh dear oh dear oh dear night claws oh okay so this has got an all star class of Frank Stallone <laughs> Red Brown and my favourite, Ted Pryor. Um, it was fun. It was awful, but it was fun. Uh, this is um, David Pryor's, one of his latest films. Um, yeah, it's essentially a Bigfoot film. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. It was incredibly B-grade, uh, of course. Um, put it by Midnight Releasing. I think I bought it directly from their site. So, yeah, uh, good fun. It's worth checking out, especially if you like those stars. Um, just, you know, you know exactly what you're getting. Uh, in a Bigfoot film directed by David Pryor. Uh, it's even got a couple of um, Deadly Prey jokes in it, which made me laugh. And the special features do indicate that uh, Deadliest Prey, the next in the series, is on its way. So that was the most exciting part of that film. Streets of Rage with Mimi Lesios. Lesios? Yeah. Um, yeah, cheap $2 action film. I haven't watched this yet. And, oh, it's got boobies. Anyway, so that's Streets of Rage. It looks like uh, it'll be craptacular entertainment. Uh, Hard Times, Charles Bronson film. I've not seen this before. Uh, it's a Walter Hill film. And I know that uh, Fulgento Barber likes this one. And I was planning on picking it up because Umbrella has it for like 15 or something, but then I found it for $3 and I wasn't going to say no to that. More crappy action. This is Flashpoint with uh, Chris Christopherson again. And Treat Williams and Rip Torn. So that's an all-star cast. Uh, what is this? Was it post apoc I think? No? No, it wasn't. No, no, no. Uh, just bad action. Uh, HBO film. So they go Flashpoint. These skulls made me think post apoc but anyway. Uh, crappy looking horror here. Jack the Reaper. With our favourite Tony Todd, of course. He turns up in anything like this. Um, the reviews indicated that this might be kind of fun. There's a bit of a Matrix effect going on there. Everyone does that slow glasses on the face look. Uh, so yeah, Jack the Reaper. Um, what do we got? Railroad Jack, that's his name. Uh, could be alright. Strong violence, that's a good start. And yesterday's pickup, uh, the Yakuza, which is a uh, 1975 film, I think. Um, which I've been meaning to watch for a very, very long time, uh, written by Paul Schrader. Uh, it's supposed to be a very good look at, uh, an authentic look at, uh, the life of the Yakuza. So that should be rather cool. I picked up Titan Find, uh, aka Creature, 
already out of print uh, and this one's signed by the director um, yeah really entertaining watch this today and uh, the print is very cool gotta love a bit of Klaus Kinski in your films um, so yeah just think you know alien um, and yeah you pretty much already know what this film is so uh, a bit of from a bit of um, a bit of alien action uh, a bit of uh, Oh, what's the what's the one I'm thinking of? Um, ah, Forbidden World. That's the, that's the thing I'm talking about. So it's that kind of film, you know. You know what you're getting. Um, really nice release. It's already out of print. Um, apparently, the 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 um, label who put this out are trying to negotiate a wider release and a Blu-ray, but so far it's just this DVD. And yes, it's out of print. Um, picked up the Last Shark which is uh, yeah, Enzo Castellari film, and I watched this this morning. Very, very good fun. Very, very cheesy. Uh, Jaws rip-off. And um, it was amusing seeing this scene here particularly because I saw that in Bruno Mattai's um, uh, shark film, which he ripped off from this, which this ripped off from Jaws. Um, so that's just pretty amusing, really. Um, I think there was only a thousand of these, and the seller on eBay is the company that released it, so that's probably the best place to get it, and Diabolic DVD has it as well. Uh, they claim it is the only official release of this film worldwide, and everything else is a bootleg. I'm inclined to believe that. The transfer is very good. Nice, full, widescreen print. Uh, new Code Red, double of The Possessed, and Demon Witch Child, taking a punt on these, as I've never seen either. But uh, yeah, 70s horrors here, they look like they're right up my alley. If anybody's seen either The Possessed or Demon Witch Child, let me know what they're like. Godfather Squad and Bruce's Last Battle. Uh, I picked this up as well when I bought that last DVD because uh, it was very cheap. And um, yeah, Godfather Squad is a canon released film, so that was a win for me. Um, and uh, I don't know too much about Bruce's Last Battle. But I think it was like eight dollars or something, so that was that was pretty pretty good bargain. Oh, just knocked the pile over. Uh, only the strong. This is a Mark Dacascas film, meant to be a bit childish. Um, this is actually a bootleg, uh, one of those horrible JL Entertainment releases. Uh, Australian company that basically get the American disc. You can see all well, that's just from the R1 print there, and then slap their own fake copyright on the bottom badly print the cover and then off you go. Um, but whatever, it was uh, two dollars precisely, so at least I can see the film. Only the strong. Um, a Fatal Blade, Gary Daniels. Not seen this one. More Yakuza. There you go. Yakuza with Gary Daniels. That should be fun. These were all two dollars. Animal 2. I've not seen Animal 1, but it's got Ving Rhames and you know, he's good fun. So, uh, yeah, prison violent film. This should be shit. Chained Heat 2 with Bridget Nielsen. This was actually sealed and it was two dollars. Ripped the seal off. Um, yeah, women in prison. Half Past Dead 2 uh, without Steven Seagal. Bill Goldberg and this somebody called Corrupt. Uh, he needs to learn how to spell his name, I think. Um, yep, so that should be uh, some direct to video action violence gold. The Bad Pack, which is, uh, yeah, Robert Darby there and uh, Roddy Piper. Uh, this one was recommended to me by um, Fugento Bava again. And uh, I think this edition was deleted or something, but I found it for $2 at a, a local shop, which was a bit of a luck, lucky find for an R1 in a local shop. So it should be good. And lastly, the biggest, happiest moment I had for $2 was Body Count. Um, this is... The very long out of print DVD from Magna Pacific, Australian company. Um, the print is just as good as any of the other bootlegs out there, which is to say it's 4 by 3 and quite dark and murky, but you know, at least it's a, uh, a pressed disc. Uh, I don't know if it's official or not. I don't think they bootlegged films. It's probably just something they reused from the old VHS days and extended the license and pushed it out. But anyway, it's nice to have it on actual disc. And uh, that's the update, and this is American Ninja.